In this video, we're going to go ahead and clean up the site plan. So we're going to need to get um, our distances and our bearings onto our site plan. Now, since we already labeled the, the lengths of the line, we just have to update these. And we'll need to go ahead and update what the lot numbers look like. Right now, for the most part, we don't usually show the area in acres on our site plan. We'll just have a lot number. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the model space. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the text for your segments that you created, <coughs> your labeling. And I'm going to go ahead and type in PR for my properties. So I'll go ahead and close this out because I really don't need it right now. I'm just going to use the space that I have. So what we're going to be looking at is the line labeling. So the line label style, go ahead and click that and I'll go create and edit. And then I'll hit the little blue box with the edit uh, pencil on it. And what I need to change is on the layout, we have the distance label, but the bearing isn't because I changed that visibility to false. Now I'm going to apply true. I'm going to apply and OK. And then I'll click OK again. Now the text size is too large. So I'm going to repeat what I just did and I'm going to modify the text size. So if I looked at the site plan, the text size is too, well, yeah, it's a little too large. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the model and I'm going to click on it again and I'm going to go to the line label style. So I'll also have to adjust the line label for the curve. So I'm going to click on line label style, create edit. I'll click on the blue box that has the pencil <clears throat> and I'm going to change the bearing height to 0.06 and I'm going to change the bearing distance to 0.06 and I'm also going to try put, change the drag state to 0.06 apply and okay usually sometimes we have to do this a couple times just to see how it looks and I go okay so that's updated now I have to do the same thing for the uh, delta length and radius for the curves so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to go to distance and radius and I'm going to go 0.06. I have to pull down the component name, go to delta. Oops. Click on delta and go 0.06. And then I'm going to, the delta isn't showing, so I've got to change that to true. And just double check the radius. So that is true. And in the dragged state, I need to change that text height to 0.06. Apply. OK. OK, so that should all update. Now, we also need to go ahead and label that center line for our um, site plan. So I'm going to go to Home. I'm going to go Annotate. I'm sorry, go to the Annotate tab. So Alignment and Multiple Segments. So I'm going to click on the segment. And then I'm also going to click on this segment. And it'll label it. Now, we may have to adjust the labels when we go to look at it. But those labels look pretty good. So if I click on it, it says bearing over distance. So let's take a look at that. Edit create. Click on the blue box with the pencil. It is a text height at the drag state. We're going to change that to 0.06. And in the layout, we'll look at the bearing. We're going to change that's 0.05. I'm going to change that to 0.06 also. I think 0.06 should be the correct height, but we'll know in a minute. Apply. And OK. Now we also need to do, oh, and OK. We also need to take a look at the curves. So we're going to come over here, click on that. I just hit escape to get out of there. So the curve label and length will pull down and we'll go edit create. We'll click on the blue box with the pencil. And the distance is going to be 0.06. The delta is going to be 0.06 and the radius is 0.06. Now, the reason we're listing everything like this is because of the, when you do a site plan, you always have to label all of the lines and curves. So the con for the contractor, when he gets the surveyor to go out and lay out the center lines of the roads and the lot lines. In the drag state, we'll go ahead and change that to 0.06 also. Apply and OK, and OK. So that's just a little bit bigger. Now, 
I'm looking at this and I'm going to check the length, the, the size of this text. So this is just um, perpendicular with a no tick line. So I'm going to adjust that. So you'll notice the pattern. So I'm going to change that to 0.06 as a pullout. And the geometry in station, I'm going to change that to 0.06 also. Apply and OK and OK. So that updates. So I'm going to go to the site plan and I'm going to take a look at this. So the other thing that's in the site plan that we don't need, so I'm going to double click on the inside and I'm going to type in lay freeze or you can go to the home tab and use the button. But I'm going to freeze off the text for the storm because that's not typically on the site plan, nor is the spot grades. So I'm going to freeze those off. Now, sometimes we don't have the bearings and distances on the lots either, but this doesn't look too bad um, for the site plan. The other thing that I might want to do is go ahead and slide this over so I can read all of the stations. Now, if I go ahead and want to pull this out, oops, not that, the actual piece of text, pull that out, I'm going to turn my ortho off and my O snaps off. I could pull this out to here also. Now the other thing that makes it a little bit easier is if I went ahead and said I wanted to do um, maybe instead of having all these labeled out, I could change this to label tags um, and create a, uh, a table of centerline data, but I'm not going to do that for right now. Um, if I have time, I'll go ahead and change that. The other thing that we'll want to do is on these curves, we may not want the curve labeling on this because we already know what the curve is here and we could actually get the surveyors to, to calculate that. So we may not want all this curve data on here. So let's take a look at it see how we can manage making this look. Um, I've seen it both ways. Uh, in the example plan that we had, the lots didn't have stationings. It didn't have bearings and distances. So I'm going to go ahead. I just wanted to show you. I could turn them on if I wanted, but I'm going to go ahead and adjust that and turn it back off. So the bearings and distances, I'm going to create. I'm going to go ahead and edit and I'm going to adjust this so that it has the bearing and I'm going to turn that back off false. Apply and OK and OK. All right, so that just cleans it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'm going to turn the radius off. I'm going to modify that so edit and create. Now on this one I'm going to do just the distance and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to erase the radius of this and I'm going to go OK and I am going to actually turn off the delta apply and OK and OK so I'm going to click that dot to get that back to, to the edge OK so that's what that looks like now there's a little I'm going to put this little gap right there so we've got this and we can also flip these. So you can flip it true to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these true to the other side. So it's all in here on the, the lot lines and not so flip true. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of these. So they're actually within the lot lines. I'm going to go to model space. Sometimes I can work faster through the model space than I do the paper space and sometimes the paper space crashes. So I am going to click on all of these. Now I can also try to do uh, select similar and I can say true on that and it flips everything and that's acceptable. It's just flipping these to the other side. So that looks fine. The other thing that I may end up having to do depends on when I look at my site plan, how it looks. So I might have to pull the leader lines out a, a little bit when I've got something that, that's being um, overlapped. So we'll need to take a look at that. All right, now 
the other thing that I need to work on is the lot number style. So I click on this and I go ahead and I can come over. It's easier to go ahead and do it through the properties box. So we would do an edit on the parcel number. So we're going to hit the little blue button. And we're going to change that text type to 0 0.06. So parcel number. And I'm also going to take off the acreage on this one. I don't need the acreage. Okay, apply and okay and OK. And it automatically updates all of those lot numbers. The other thing that we have from the overall general plan is this layout. Now what we may want to do is we can go ahead and let me see on this. This is a parcel segment. So I may want to go to the, the annotate tab and um, get a dimension on the overall parcel segment. So I'm, I'm going to just do a single segment right here and I can see that when I pull this out it's going to give me an overall segment here. Now this parcel segment um, I'm going to do that again so add labels to a parcel single segment and I'm going to do it to the overall boundary of the project because I'm going to use this information um, to I'm going to flip this one to the other side I mean sorry I'm going to use this information to create a legal description so I'm going to go lay freeze on the XREF data that was in here because I want to do it based off of my information just as an example you could use the original data if you wished to create a legal description. So I'm just cleaning this up. Now I also have a little, nope that was a straight line. And that one's a straight line. And that one was a straight line. I just arbitrarily created straight lines instead of breaking them down into the parcel segments. Alright, now the other thing that I had originally, if you looked at the um, parcel information, I'm going to go back to my home tab and open up my tool space, is that I have this labeled. If you look at the sites and click the plus button and go to the parcels, you'll see that there's um, overall parcel, so you can see that there's roads, the open space, and I'm looking for the overall. So on this, I don't, this says parcel segment two. I would want to create a legal description based on those parcels. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video. All right. I just wanted to show you that these parcels are built off of um, an original layout that we did at the beginning of this project. All right. I'm going to zoom to that. I just want to see where the 14 is listed. Ah, there it is. All right. So if I go to my site plan, this is what we're looking at. Okay. So I could create some data that has a um, tag information for this, this project. But I'm not going to do tag information for this class. Not, not right now. All right. So I'm just cleaning up this information um, is all that I'm doing right now. All right. So for right now, that's what our site plan is going to end up looking like. Um, so I'm going to go zoom extents and leave it as is. That's it for this video.